Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick Eldwood and Senior here, and I'm in a little different setting today. Actually, our Women's Day service is yet taking place in our seventh annual Ministers and Workers Meeting of North Carolina Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. And I'll tell you, we've been having a time in the Lord, and I'm standing here to invite you to join us tonight in our ministers and workers meetings. It's Women's Day here uh, at uh, North Carolina Third, and it's been Women's Day all day long. And tonight our special guest will be Mother Thelma Butts. She's Supervisor Emeritus from Ohio North Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. What an awesome woman of God she is. And we're gonna be honoring tonight our supervisor, Mother Beverly DeJanae, who is just doing a magnificent and job. God is blessing in this meeting and tomorrow night yours truly will be preaching the word of the Lord and if you've been following us we've had some blessed day sessions and God is blessing us and God is moving by his spirit and we put the announcements out there so you know what's going on. I will be here tonight. I will not be preaching tonight, but I will be preaching tomorrow night in this ministers and workers meeting. And our theme, I tell you, you guessed it. The theme is strength. And I want to talk to you tomorrow night about having a passion for this. You got to have a passion for the Lord in a day like today because the devil and, and Satan's people are passionate about the program of evil. Well, I'm telling you, I'm passionate about the program of God, the move of Jesus Christ in these last days. And as a believer, we are not defeated. We are not afraid. We're not shaken. But God has anointed us with strength and with vigor for what we are facing. You know, I said this the other day, Brother Gary, while I was preaching, I said, Jesus never foresaw a time when his words and his teachings would be obsolete, would be untrue, would be unnecessary, would be passe, would be out of, uh, out of step, would be old fogey. He said to his disciples, go ye therefore into all the world. Teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and teaching them whatsoever things I have said unto you. Well, the words of Jesus is where I draw my strength. I'm not looking for uh, uh, another gospel. I'm not looking for another angle. Just God's truth. God's truth. God's truth will change you and will bless you and cause your face, cause your heart to be lifted and God will cause his face to shine upon you. So I'm excited right here in the, uh, in the, in, in the lobby, in the vegetable of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. You can hear possibly the, the women's service continuing uh, in the background and uh, just so many wonderful things. We had a tremendous, oh my, uh, men's meeting, men's gathering today. Our men's uh, gathering under the leadership of Elder Anthony Wilson was magnificent. And tonight at 6 p.m., we're going to have our elders council. Superintendent William H. Cooper II is going to be in charge. And then tonight's service, Mother Thelma Butts is going to preach the word. So, hey, stay tuned. Keep up with us. Amen. North Carolina 3rd is on the move, and I can hardly wait to preach tomorrow night. But before we get there, and I'm, and I'm going, Gary, I'm going off. Before we get there, tomorrow during the day, we're going to have a fantastic meeting, a fantastic bishop's forum, and I'm going to be talking about more of the must-have that I believe that every believer should have that every worker should have, and the Elder Burnside from the South Carolina dis District. We call him the preacher. That man's gonna preach tomorrow in our day sessions. Prayer begins at 9.30. Three days, jam-packed 
with the, the move of God. Just three days. Our workers meeting only lasts three days. You miss one day, you miss a third of, a meet, of the meeting. You miss two, you miss two thirds. You miss three and you miss the whole meeting. So my friends who are watching, join us tonight. And God is going to bless us. Make it a fantastic day. And we will see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. God bless you. Thank you for your time and attention.